Welcome to the newest video, Soldier. Today, we are going over the newest patch notes for Nickel and Elsar Brawl 2 for patch 1.7. They tweeted this out a few days ago. I wanted to go over the rotation mode, the new stage layouts, items, campaign power-ups, and more. We will also be making a tier list in honor of this new patch. So, update 1.7, let's get right into it. It's a new game mode. The rotation of three or four players that can play King of the Hill style, ooh, 1v1s, where anytime a player is KO'd, it goes to the waiting list. Hey, this is, they had a rush and revolt type of game type where it had this where it actually would rotate people whenever they lose so this is gonna be really nice to do when we do our future streams by the way make sure you like and subscribe so you can see those in the future if you want to be part of the mayhem because they use some of those streams for actual content and the next player entered the fight seamless during the match it can be played with stock time variants all right that's awesome we should definitely play this sometime soon and they added some new stages they added clean double and triangle layouts for food dreams which can be interesting because that map i like the aesthetic of that map so we'll see how that looks when we have the different layouts a new campaign power up pack interesting ring of rage and crown of fire when both are obtained all attacks ignore block and super armor oh my god the items this game are kind of funny so it'd be interesting to see that the secret form and then crappy patty ingredients awesome when both are obtained it enables the chance for a perfect crappy patty to appear Ooh, and the perfect crappy patty ignores debuffs and a percent of damage that's awesome like how silly they're getting with this stuff it really makes me happy to see them updating the game constantly even though i don't normally like patches i do like these patches new items jellyfish jelly Ooh, throw to spawn three jellyfish that try to shock your nearest opponent until they disappear that's crazy all right benton thermal Throw the thermos and watch how ghosts appear to haunt your opponents. You get the electrified glove. You grab it to stun your opponents on your next hit. The lawn gnome. <laughs> Throw the gnome and watch it follow you as it creates an electrical field in between you and him. Electrifying opponents. These items sound crazy. Ultra Snow Zooka. Interesting name. Grab and shoot different sized snowballs depending on how long you hold the light button. Bug fixes. Fix an issue where projectiles and hit item hitboxes would trade against character hitboxes when they're supposed to be destroyed instead. All right, awesome. That's great. That's what I've been looking forward to see. Fix an issue where projectiles got stuck on platforms that traveled through them. Thank God it's being fixed too because I've also seen that happen. And fix an issue where the match would soft lock if a player taunted with a certain timing during the finish screen. That's how that was happening. No wonder it was happening so much to a lot of people. Fix an issue where Gur was crashing the game shortly after being deployed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a general fix, reduced attacks clank damage from 7 to 3. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. And now we're getting right into the balance changes, y'all. It seems to be pretty sizable, so we're gonna go through this with some level of critique and also maybe some headcanon stuff that I'm gonna think of while I'm talking. Patrick's up special was decreased in the amount of momentum retained after edge canceling special up to half his speed. Okay, so he can no longer like edge cancel when he slides off the platform to keep the momentum, which is interesting and good because he can't do a lot of crazy movement anymore, which, you know, he didn't need it. Squidward's special up got changed they improve the multi-hit consistency into the finisher which is a good thing for him because i did feel like i fell out of it a lot so it's gonna be nice to see him maybe that'll help him in the tier list go up a little bit we'll have to see in time Ooh, mecha plankton getting a buff finally light air up they improve the multi-hit consistency as well because i fell out of that move a lot too as well so that also is a good change for him el tigre his light air forward the knockback gain decrease the very very minimal decrease like 0.45 decrease on the knockback not going to change a whole lot for him it may even help him when he combos other people we got a rocco change special neutral spunky increase the cooldown from two seconds to 2.9 okay that's a little bit of an of obvious nerf obviously but it is pretty needed because he could just pretty much throw out spunky whenever he felt like it if spunky didn't get hurt or he disappeared then he could just throw it out again that's pretty much a good nerf to keep the consistency of the character down a little bit because he is really consistent with his items his charge down air is decreased from the damage for, to seven which makes sense sense that charged air down was kind of ridiculous you didn't have to commit to anything it's like steve anvil so it makes sense that they would nerf it lucy getting a nerf or change let's see where this goes charge forward ghost damage increased Ooh, oh my god does they increase the damage by a lot wow that's actually kind of crazy so that means that she's going to be using ghosts more often the block damage increased to 13 as well so both these numbers got changed which is kind of crazy to see five damage may not seem like a lot but having that consistently doing that if you hit that move twice you've done 10 more damage so that helps her kill even earlier <laughs> if you're really good lucy this is a good time to play her Ooh, daggett got his oh my god they got so many things hold on what in the hell they okay they're doing a lot to dag let's see how this goes dag has got his light air back final ch angle changed to a way different angle which is interesting let's see how i don't know how that's going to work out but we'll see how that goes with the beaver players the light nair late hit the knockback was decreased light air again had the knockback gain decreased very minimal on these numbers as well not too much light up air got reworked the hitboxes have different priority and position 
position now, which is interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing for him. The light air up falling hitbox. Knockback also decreases well with the damage decrease, the block damage decrease, and the angle is also changed. So this is going to be interesting. I'm wondering if it's going to help them combo more or differently. I guess we're going to have to see over time. Light up air rising. So the rising hitbox of this move. Base knockback was increased by five. Decrease on the damage by one. The block damage decreased by one as well. Now we're out of the woods on Dag. It is Aang's turn. Light up air late hitbox. Got the knockback gain increased by two. And the light air up also got its knockback increased as well in general by three. It'll be interesting to see how that works because he does. He's kind of like an up air monster. So we'll see how that helps him. Oh man, they gave Korra something. Let's see if it's anything good. Special up ground. Increase the knockback gain on initial hitbox and adjusted the angle. I'm wondering what the angle is going to be. I got to test these in game. Special neutral fireball. I got the damage increased by one and the block damage increased by one as well. On Azula. So they're barely helping her a tiny bit. Not very much though. It's very, very, very minimal. Like one of the other things are changed. It's more like around three for everybody else, but she only got a one damage difference, which is not, it's very minimal. Raphael, interesting. Okay, he's got two things it looks like. So they got the light air, neutral air, auto link. The hit stun minimum was increased by two, and the special neutral shuriken slime was decreased by one. Okay, they're doing a lot. I mean, this is crazy to have this much. This is a lot to scroll down and see. Oh my god, they did a lot for Donatello. Look at Donatello's notes right here. It's crazy. Uh, so the charge forward one and two got the reworked hitboxes to match the visuals better and more consistent on the hammer hit, which makes sense because it was a weird move. Charge forward reverse hit, I guess. The knockback was decreased by two, and it looks like the block stun also decreased by a bit as well, by seven. Kind of hurting him a little bit. Charge forward, they got the base knockback increase. Okay, they try to compensate for that, and the block stun was increased by two. Very minimal changes, but the hit lag on a hit was increased by 13, and the hit lag base on block was increased by six. So a little bit of a change change on that quite a bit substantial than the other changes the charge forward air hit lag based on hit increased to 16 so up 10 on both that and the on block increased by 10 that's insane okay so they got quite a bit of changes on donatello as well which is kind of crazy to see i wasn't sure if they're going to help him or hurt him but i guess they're going to be doing a lot to him in the future maybe they'll try to help him a little more oh man april please tell me something good. okay light air up rework the hit boxes to improve consistency of the multi-hit oh thank god okay i needed that because i swear the hit boxes come out differently if at any point that you hit it so i guess we'll test that out soon to see how how consistent it is because i really love april not a bad change i'm really happy about that danny getting two changes light down decrease the range of the attack and the special up got increased landing lag oh yeah i need to see some more nerfs on him that character's crazy it's, it's insane that they're nerfing him at all though which is nuts i do like this because he can kind of up special wherever he felt like it and not get punished at all so it's kind of ridiculous that they're barely fixing him a little bit more we'll see how much they nerf him more in the future but then we look at ember who's got ooh three changes ember charge air forward they reworked the hitboxes so only the tip of her hair pulls opponents inwards and the rest of it since outwards okay i didn't even know that the tip of her hair pulled them towards it because the hitbox kind of sucked so this is good to see that they changed it to make it have some characteristic that is worth using because it was pretty bad charge air up got the decrease hitbox size which makes sense it was huge it didn't make sense because it was inconsistent the light up tilt so like the up tilt got to improve multi hits because you would fall out of it before so it's going to be really interesting to see how that works he's going to have more guaranteed combos now hopefully jesus christ what did they do to gertie there's so much that they did to gertie okay i guess we're gonna go through this quickly oh my god gertie's got light air back clean base changing the block push okay by a little bit they got the light air back clean tip changed a little bit on the block push as well same thing on everything it looks like block push for everything on the light air back the base of it the light air back the late tip the <laughs> Light air neutral, kick auto link, also changed very tiny amounts, not very much, so it's not super bad for her, but it is an interesting change. Light air neutral, kick, block push decrease by, again, 0.2. Same thing on the other ones, light air neutral punch, got changed as well for the block push, block push changed as well, and like light air up, clean hit of it by 0.1. It looks like it's going to 0.1s now, the light air up, late hit, 0.1. The light down, clean hit, also getting changed a little tiny bit. Oh my god, what are they doing? There's so much, what? A block push also changed on her light down light down light hit the light forward on the body the light forward on the hand hit the light neutral combo oh my goodness changed a lot the block stun decreased on that by seven that's crazy i wonder if she's gonna be like a worse captain falcon okay so at the end of these notes for gertie finally oh my god light neutral finisher changed as well the block push and the damage were both decreased by a little bit not too much values light neutral late hit also getting changed and the light neutral as well they did a lot to gertie but it should be minimal enough that you can't really notice it too much but maybe it'll make 
make less guaranteed combos. We'll see. Gerald. All right, Gerald's getting something right here. We got three things. Light air up. They improve the multi hits on two moves for the up special as well. Good things because they you would fall out of those. I would definitely fall out every single time if I was going to die. Either that or like it wouldn't kill me. So this will help a lot for him to kill. The grab throw up. So the up throw got increased. So like it, maybe it'll kill even earlier because it got increased by two. Not huge values, but it still will kill a little bit earlier. We're about a little bit how more than halfway through the patch notes now. So we're going to go through a little more. Special neutral on Nigel. The rework the hitboxes to be one single hit instead of the two park attack to increase consistency. All right. Now goes through run break state to service and lag. Charge forward one. The block push was decreased and the special neutral release. No charge was decreased on the knockback and for both the gain and the base, as well as changing the directional influence multiplier and the angle was also changed. They did a lot, it looks like, because they got three more things here. The special neutral release low charge got changed with the angle, and the special neutral release mid of the charge has gotten changed as well by two, and the angle is changed as well, as well as the neutral release again for the max charge change for the angle. Kind of weird. I figured they would help him more. They're kind of changing stuff, so it might be a little bit better, but I'm not really sure how the angle changes are gonna help him that much. We'll see if it like makes it so they get popped up in a certain angle that he can combo from, so we'll see how that works. Jenny. Jenny got in some things, looks interesting. Same. got three changes charge forward one the block stun was decreased by one the special neutral rocket also changed in the angle by a very small amount especially degree wise it's not very much it's only changed by two it's from 58 to 60 and the special down getting the change angle at which the lages are shot to travel a bit more horizontally so that's interesting holy god a lot of things on reptar which he does need to get fixed i don't know if he's gonna get any help or if he's gonna get hurt i do think he's a little bit ridiculous of a character so maybe this will help him be in line a little more because reptar got a fixed an issue where reptar would clip in stages during his charge up well that is definitely a problem i'm glad they got that fixed i've never seen it happen but it's a good thing it's getting fixed special down air can now be canceled with air jump earlier than before remove the super armor thank god okay that move is a little bit ridiculous the super armor actually made it really hard to do anything now the charge air down also getting decreased with the damage by three the charge down also getting the reworked hitbox and added a late weak hitbox no longer is going to dunk every single time which is interesting it might pop upward which would be weird maybe it'll combo into other things now that i have a late weak hitbox the charge forward also decreased by two and the the damage the charge up fire also decreased by two and the special down ground was decreased by five and they removed the late cancel window so you can't cancel out of it or in the late part of the move light air down also decreased in damage by two they did, they did a lot to hurt reptar so we'll see how that goes oh my god there's so many things they did to these characters. Big patch. Red and Stimpy, charge air up. They got their hitboxes to be reworked and no longer be a multi-hit. Ooh. Instead, they now have an initial strong attack and a lingering weak attack. That is interesting. So the charge air up getting changed in that manner. That's I'm wondering how it's gonna work or hurt them. Light air back late, getting a lot of the things changed for knockback, block sun, hip lag and also on block and on hit being changed as well. Looks like an overall decrease for all of stats with also getting an increase very, very minimally and slightly by 0.5 to the knockback base. The light back air mid on Ren and Simpy also was decreased as well with the knockback gain being increased by very minimally yet again by 0.1 with the block sun also being decreased with the hit lag on hit and on block being changed as well a little bit making him a little bit less safe on moves. Holy god Mr. Krabs has so much look at all of this what in the world. Mr. Krabs is the last one on the patch and just look how long this list is of things that are doing to him. I'm wondering how this is going to change him so we'll give him some more testing as we play him in the future but let's see how this patch shakes out. Mr. Krabs the money meter gain value increased for coins and bills. Okay, that's great because it felt like it took forever to get the money going. Special forward air and charge air forward can be done independently of one another. That's good, I think. Special forward air and charge air. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see how this shakes out. I don't understand. Like, there's so many things I got to go through with Mr. Krabs right now, and I'm wondering if this is going to hurt him a lot or if it's like a buff. So we'll see how this goes. Special up air. Increase landing lag. So up special getting changed to have increased landing lag if he misses or if he lands on stage trying to hit somebody with it, I guess. Charge air forward getting reduced velocity when slime canceled, which is interesting. Special forward follow up. The long jump answer window on special forward follow up was changed. Special neutral got decreased ending lag, which is interesting that money back he throws out and slaps you with. That's interesting that they would change that. It makes it better. Special forward playtimes over finisher. Improved the multi-hit consistency. Oh my God, that like, like it wasn't consistent before. I mean, I get it like you would fall out sometimes, which is good to see that change, but he, it is still really ridiculous. Now that he gets his money faster, it's gonna be a little bit harder to deal with him. 
him, and we'll see how that goes for him. They also changed the charge air up, which that move sucked. The up smash was really not good, and I'm glad that they fixed that, because it was like my biggest pet peeve with him when I was playing, because that move was so inconsistent, you could never use it, essentially. It was like a dead move in his kit. Charge forward near, so this is the quick one, I suppose. Knockback gain increased, oh my goodness, by quite a bit. Not too, too much, but it's still enough to make a difference with the damage increase by two, which adds up over time. Charge forward change on him as well, with the knockback increase by also a little bit, about like 2.5. The damage increase also by two. They're getting a little bit of damage increase on him to help him do more consistent damage and kill a little bit earlier, it seems like. Dash attack, getting the knockback gain decreased by two, so it's no longer gonna kill a little bit earlier, I guess, or put him in worse spots because the damage, you can't just spam it as much to get the knockback on it to get him in a position, but I don't think it's gonna change that much. Two is not very much of a value. It doesn't change very much. Light air forward, they adjusted the hurt boxes, which is great because I think that that move, I it felt like people would like phase through it sometimes, so I think that it's gonna be good to see if that actually is fixed. We're coming up on the end of the patch notes for Mr. Krabs. The light air forward one, the knockback was decreased by a little bit, literally 2.5. Light air forward level three, had the knockback gain decrease as well. As you can see, like when he hit his money meter, he would hit you with certain things that were changed. The, the values were a little bit different, a little bit better if he got more money. So I think it's really good to change these things a little bit and also making things more consistent. So it's gonna help him. With the light air neutral body hit on his Nair, which is like a Wario neutral air, the hit some of the player was increased by 0 0.05. Not a, has a very minimal tiny bit change. It's nothing basically. A layer up, if grounded, the knockback gain was increased by a bit. I think five value, which is interesting. And then the hit the minimum was also decreased by five. Kind of an even trade off there, but it's going to be interesting to see these moves all in unison to up tilt. Basically, it was the warrior up tilt, which you guys know and love, Lamau. And I think that it's interesting that the hit sum was decreased because it makes it so he can't auto combo into the same thing over and over again. So you can probably have a chance to jump out of that move now. Light air up two, so the up air when you have second money bar. Yeah, multiplier was decreased by 0 0.2, very, uh, it's pretty much nothing. And the hit stun minimum was decreased as well by two, not very much either. Light down far, I guess the light down tilt, the very tip of the uh, light down tilt, like the Wario down tilt. He's basically Wario. Hit stun multiplier was increased by literally 0.2, yet again, another minimal change, but the hit stun minimum was increased by so much. What the hell? It's increased by 11. People are gonna be down tilting a lot now. Light down near. So if they're really close to you, the hit stun minimum was increased as well by like five. That's crazy. So everybody's gonna be down tilting now, whether you're near or far from his fingertips or his claws, his big meaty claws, he's going to be hitting you for a bit because he's going to get a grab basically for free almost, it seems like, or a combo. Light neutral one, hit stun multiplier decreased by 0.8 with an angle change of six from 25 to 31. Not a big change. A lot of these are really very minimal and I'm wondering how this is going to affect him. Light neutral two getting changed in the knockback decreased by, oh my God, by 0.9, which is kind of huge. The knockback gain is not there, but they made the hit stun decrease also bad. So I don't understand this. The angle change got changed, but who cares? That's crazy. So that's like 0.1. That's like nothing now. <laughs> There's no knockback gain on light neutral two, which is crazy. Light up body hit. The knockback was increased for the gain. Quite a bit on that, about three. Then hit stun multiplier was also decreased by 0.1, very negligible. And also the directional influence multiplier was increased by 0.2, also very negligible. Light up with the claws, yet again, having it decrease on the hit stun multiplier by 0.1 with the hit stun minimum being decreased as well by two, not too much. And the directional influence multiplier decreased as well by 0.2. These are all very small, minimal little changes. And we're at the very end of the patch notes right here. So the light up lingering, the lingering hit of the light up, up till getting the knockback gain increased by a little bit, not too much by four. And then the hit stun multiplier was also decreased by 0.1, very minimal again. Hit stun minimum decrease as well by a little bit too. These are very small things that are changing, but then they make the DAI influence multiplier increase, which is interesting. Now we're at the very end with a special up throw level three, which is kind of a crazy throw. Now the base knockback was decreased by four, which is meteor of a change than, you know, the other ones that have been going through with like 0.1. 1.2 and crap. So it's literally changed by four. The knockback decrease by two. Okay, so this is kind of like a buff nerf for Mr. Krabs. And overall, the whole cast kind of got a lot of different changes that make them a little bit different than how they were before. Ren and Simpy getting a lot of things and also Raptor getting a lot of stuff changed on him. Nigel getting things of all characters. Nigel getting a lot of stuff changed. With
with Donatello and literally Gertie getting probably the most ridiculous, like longest change I've ever seen on every single thing. And there's all like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 changes, which is nuts. And then Dag getting hit out of nowhere. I don't, I, they didn't nerf his counterpart, which is interesting. So it means that Dag was just better than Norbert. So we'll see how this all goes with some minor changes to the other characters like Patrick and Squidward, which mobility options for Patrick shouldn't have been that ridiculous now that he can cancel off of the platforms and stuff. So it's a little bit better now that he cannot edge cancel anymore as much or as fast. Like he's going to be a little bit slower off of the cancel. So it'll make him a little bit more easy to deal with, which might make him hurt a little more in the tier list. And we'll have a tier list coming out in the near future, y'all. We also have some other news coming out for multiverses and other platform fighters that you may enjoy. If you like this patch note rundown of patch 1.7 for Nickelodeon Saw Brawl, then make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can see everything I do every gosh darn week. Soldier, and we'll see you next time in the next video. Goodbye. Ooh, we ride.